all right okay yeah all right so yeah hello everyone you're yeah, welcome once again to uh, the cosmic john so uh, sorry all right so welcome once again to our engagement session for national astronomy challenge so uh, i was muted till now but yes i will start once again so basically in today's session what we are going to do is we are going to have a mega quiz so i arjun welcome you to our today's session so in the session today basically i am going to uh, conduct a quiz for you now this is a quiz which will be played on a platform called kahoo right so we all will be playing together so i will first tell you the format of the quiz that is going to happen so today's quiz is on a topic called space machines so basically we are going to ask the questions related to any and let's say any machine which have gone to space or which have anything to do with the space travel right so the questions there there will be 20 questions in the quiz and the questions will be in the format of multiple choice question where one answer is correct or true or false now the questions will be live so all of you will be giving your inputs to the questions together so for that reason every question has a time limit so make sure that you answer the question within the given time limit because if you exceed you won't be able to answer any right that is uh, something about the quiz so uh, first i'm going to show you that how exactly you should log in and then we are going to play now i suggest that for this quiz you guys have two devices in front of you on one device where you can see my screen and on the second device where you uh, should do your input we should give your input for the questions in case you do not have the two devices you can play it on one device only wherein you can put the kahoot screen only on the front and so that you can hear my voice because after each question i'll be giving an explanation about each question as well yeah so without any further delay let me just begin the quiz all the best students but before i begin one last thing i want to clarify the quiz that we are going to have today does not have any impact will not have any impact on your final nec exam result it is just an engagement session it is just a fun pill session and so if you get any question correct or if you are able to land on the podium kudos to you very well done but if you are unable to get many questions correct don't get disheartened rather take it as an opportunity to learn something new because i'll be explaining about each questions after after that yeah so and one last thing i would want you all to please stay back for a minute once the quiz ends because at the end of the session i want to tell you something very important about your nec exam so having said that let's just begin our today's kahoot uh, quiz so here first i am going to share my screen and show you that basically what exactly you guys should do to play the quiz all right so here i am expecting that you all are on your laptop or your tab so if you are over here go to the browser go to the browser or even if you are on your mobile phones go to any browser go to this url www. kahoot k a h o t kahoot dot i t not dot com kahoot dot i t once you go over here it is going to ask you for a game pin as you see over here now the game pin for today's quiz i'm going to give you right now once you enter the game pin it is going to ask you for your nickname now students for this quiz i do not want you to use your nickname rather please use your registered name with which you have registered into the nec exam all right your full complete name that's what i want all right so if you guys if i find anyone having the nickname i'll just alert them also that yes please do it this way all right so with this let me just share with you the game pin for our today's kahoot quiz so the game pin for our today's kahoot is this 2 4 5 8 4 9 right so if you are on a an android phone or an, and basically any mobile phone you can go to kahoot app as well so on the kahoot app you will find that there is an option it says new game and you if you click over here you you will enter the game pin and over here so yes we can see that many students have already joined in 
great job guys yes so uh, once you log in once you join the quiz on your screen you will see a word saying that you have entered see your name on the main screen so for now your name should appear on the screen so all of you once your name is on the screen just wait okay i'm going to give you 5 minutes i'm going to wait 5 minutes over here and after those 5 minutes i'm going to start the quiz so if you have already joined please wait and then we will begin so yeah so having said that let's just play some music and you can say that it is a very halloween kind of vibes over here so let's see what kind of music we have yeah so the music is also for halloween i believe yes it is a kind of halloween music so more than 100 students have joined all right student that 2458449 please join back and please join back with your name we do not want your enrollment number we want your name all right so that would that would be advisable so whoever this is 245 yeah okay yes you have already removed great so yes all those who have joined you can see your name over here i'm just scrolling it for you and then you can go ahead and as you all know today's quiz is for grade 6 to 9 yeah right great so 102 students are here for till now i'm waiting for a bit more four more minutes i'm going to wait and then i'm going to begin one more thing but i'll tell you once again the game pin for today's quiz is 245 8449 yes great students are joining in all right so as you all know that today's quiz is for grade 6 to 9 and it is on a topic called space machines very good 112 students here you guys can see your screen you see your name on the screen over here all right students i'm going to wait for two more minutes now all those who are yet to join join in quickly you should go to the kahoot website www.kahoot.it and enter the game pin which is 2458449 right so we will be playing it together and for, so i'll tell you some tips about the quiz so you, so you see guys since i've told you that all the all the questions in the quiz are time based right so you have to answer them within a given time frame now these questions will have points and the points will be awarded to you on two factors number 1 the point you will get the point based on how fast you answer so if you are the fastest one to answer a question then you will receive the maximum number of the second way to have more points is to maintain a streak so if you are able to let's say give let's say correct answers many correct answers in a row then you will get additional points for each correct answer given in a streak so yeah so you will get more points to maintain a streak so try to do that as well yeah so with that i am going to wait for 30 more seconds 108 18 students are here and then we are going to begin All right 121 okay so students 15 more seconds i hope you guys are ready yeah buckle up and as uh, as i already told you that this quiz will have 20 questions so get ready now everybody 
the quiz starts in 5 4 3 2 1 and now question number 1 puzzle question arrange these space machines according to how far away from earth they were originally sent starting from the closest to the farthest so which mission was sent closest to the earth keep it on top the mission which was sent farthest away from earth keep it on bottom and once you we have arranged it in this manner select submit on the bottom your answer will not be submitted unless you click on that submit button on the bottom so everyone do it quickly you have 30 more seconds once you arrange them in the correct order so the options are mars 2020 mission international space station apollo 8 and cassini huygens mission let's see how many of you are able to give it correctly arrange them quickly and then press on submit come on do it fast guys the uh, the time is running out great yes wow okay only 32% of you are able to give it correctly so the correct order is this the closest out of this is the international space station it was sent and it is currently also located in the lower earth orbit this just when the space starts so uh, so basically it is almost at around 100 or 150 kilometers above the surface then comes the apollo 8 mission apollo 8 mission was sent to the moon now moon is at a distance of around 3 lakh kilometers and that that is the reason that okay apollo 8 comes second then comes the mars 2020 mission which as the name suggests went to mars and since mars is further than moon so it comes at the third position and the final we have the cassini huygens mission now this mission was sent to saturn right so since saturn is the farthest away from earth out of these four so that mission comes at last so this is the correct order 32% of you were able to give it correctly let's see who managed to land on the podium so the students who are on podium are sanvi gupta hilari lalit saloni datta harsh vardhan and ashika patel great job students you guys plays wonderfully well with that the first question was a bit hard yes let's get to the second question i hope this one is easier question number 2 the development of iss international space station includes contributions from 15 countries which of the following countries what was not its own? is it the usa is it japan is it india or is it russia So ISS was developed by some fifteen countries. Out of these four, which one is not a part of those fifteen countries? A job. Yes, the correct answer was India. India is not a part of it, and it has been basically it is in work since the basically the nineteen eighties, right? So it has been in it, it is in development for let's say thirty years, and with that it got completed around two thousand ten. and now it is in space and in the next 5 or 10 years it will get out of commission as well yeah so it is the largest laboratory in space which spans as big which is as big as a football field yeah and one more interesting thing about international space station you know the international space station was actually assembled in space so all these different countries they they created different different parts of it those parts were carried to the space and it was put together in space only within the orbit right because obviously we cannot send such a big machine in space together yeah so yes 69 of you gave it correctly let's see what effect it has on the scoreboard and on the scoreboard it changed and now we have dhyan nc jain and yash basin entering into the top 5 whereas sanvi kilari lalit and ashika have maintained their spot in the in the podium all right so here with that let's get to the next question students question number 3 which of these private space organizations have not reached space yet is it sierra nevada space system is it spacex 
इज इट ब्लू ऑरिजिन और इज इट वर्जिन गैलेक्टिक आउट ऑफ दीज प्राइवेट स्पेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच वन ऑफ दीज कंपनी हैव नॉट मैनेज टू रीच स्पेस येट लेट सी वॉट इज योर आंसर Yes, good job. The correct answer was Sierra Nevada Space. So SpaceX, as you all know, has been working. It went to the space around seven or eight years ago. Blue Origin, it managed that field two years ago. Virgin Galactic, it it managed to send its first manned spacecraft this earlier this year in 2021. Whereas Sierra Nevada Space System. has a contract to send the modules to international space station in future and it will send its first fly first mission to space earlier next year so it has not been able to do it yet and all those students who keep up with the space news you should very well be aware about it if you don't keep looking for the sierra nevada space system launch right you will see that it happening within the next few months so with that let's take a look at the scoreboard and the scoreboard has changed again where as sanvi maintained a position followed by dhyan ashika puranjay joshi and barel bijoy are the new entrant and up to 29 places arush h is the highest climber now students if you still want to join the space quiz if you still want to join this mega quiz you can always join by entering the game pin now the game pin is always visible on the bottom right corner of the screen So you can always see it here. The game pin is written over here. It is two four five eight double four nine. So even if you move out of it for some network issues or something, you can always join back. Okay. So this is the way of doing it. With that, let's get to the next question now. I hope you guys are excited. With this, the fourth question: What was the name of first space shuttle to go to space? The first shuttle. get launched was it enterprise was it discovery was it atlantis or was it columbia what is the name of the first space shuttle to successfully leave the earth yes good job students i can see that there is a very diverse answer so many of the students did not get it correct but yes the correct answer was columbia columbia was the space shuttle which was the first one to do it and it was launched in the year 1981 and you as you all know if you have heard the name dr kalpana chawla she in a tragic incident she was the she was in this space shuttle only which basically got exploded during the reentry in the year 2001 so it was working it was in commission for almost 20 years and yeah so this was it so kudos to the ones who got this correct let's see how it changed the scoreboard and it changed the scoreboard a lot with advait a is the new entrant in the top 5 so great job sanvi dhyan barel purvi and advait so 10 players have reached the answer streak of 3 that's great students so don't stop doing it all right so yeah you you also have a chance to land into the scoreboard so here I'll show the game pin once again for all the students who have just joined us and want to join the quiz. Game pin is always visible on the bottom right corner. It is right here. And with this, let's get to the next question. Question number five, worth double points this time. What is the name of the most advanced space telescope developed, which is being launched in December 2021? The picture is also shown over here. What is its name? Hmm, that's a tough question. Is it John Webb Space Telescope? Jack Webber Space Telescope, Jack Webber Science Telescope, James Weiser Science Telescope, or is it James Webb Space Telescope? What is the actual name of it? Let's see who all remember. Yes, good job. Yes, it is James Webb Space Telescope. As you all know that the name is JWST, but the question is tougher because it asks you what is the full form of that JWST. It is James Webb. Now, students, James Webb was the first administrator of NASA. was not not the first but he is one of the most important <clears throat> most important administrator of nasa and the program apollo mission the apollo program was basically completed or he he was the administrator of that who oversaw that entire apollo mission so to 
honor him to recognize him nasa have named the next telescope the james webb telescope after him yeah so it is going to launch in december 2021 and let me tell you that i am personally am very excited about this launch because this is going to define the future of astronomy the same way hubble have done for the past 30 years for the last 30 years hubble was the telescope which which was the most advanced telescope which which gave us many interesting pictures and many interesting phenomena we have discovered because of it james webb telescope can see much farther away than hubble so we are expected expecting to see much more and learn much more about space in the coming years so with this let's get to the scoreboard so the scoreboard looks like this and wow advait have climbed to the second so sanvi is maintaining her position followed by advait then we have barrel then we have pranav and then tanvi sitpura is the new entrant in the top 5 great job tanvi and with this seven players have reached the answer streak of four good job students so maintain your streak you will definitely land into top 5 at some point so with this let's get to the next question everybody question number 6 name of the first helicopter to fly on mars was was it sparrow was it perseverance was it ingenuity or was it hawk what was the first helicopter to fly on mars so this also happened come on come on answer quickly yes. good job 55 of you gave the correct answer yes the correct answer was ingenuity now let me tell you something about this mission this is a mission which actually created history this year this year we for the first time in history have managed to fly something on any other celestial body apart from earth so that being on mars and that is the reason that this mission is now considered as big as achievement as the first right but the moment when they when they flew something on the earth for the first time yeah so this little helicopter was the part of mars 2020 mission and it went on mars surface along with a the rover they landed in march earlier this year and as on the background where as you can see the rover the name of the rover was perseverance and the name of this helicopter was ingenuity so all those who said perseverance i can give, i can give i should give you half points because you got half part of it correct but yes the correct the name of that helicopter was ingenuity with this let's take a look at the scoreboard and the scoreboard wow has changed drastically with barrel barrel bejoy getting the second place with sanvi unwilling to let go of her place then we have soptik viraj desai and shivansh dubey completing the top 5 and five players have just hit the answer streak of 5 great job students so here with this let's get to the next question question number 7 what was the name of the first artificial satellite in earth's orbit hmm. let's see who all know that first artificial satellite in earth's orbit was it sputnik 1 was it explorer 1 was it echo 1 or was it aryabhatta the name of the first artificial satellite in earth's orbit but job yes most of you know this answer and yes the correct answer was sputnik 1 now sputnik 1 was the first satellite to ever get launched and this is the moment which started the space race between the two world superpowers usa and russia right so russia launched sputnik 1 and then Na- nasa answered with their own set satellite that is explorer 1 so explorer 1 was the first satellite to be launched by usa and then they sent echo 1 which is the first communication satellite then the aryabhatta which 23 of you have answered is actually the first satellite launched by india i asked what is the first artificial satellite in the earth orbit in the whole world and for the world the it answer goes to sputnik 1 92 of you got it correct great job and with this sarthak have entered top 5 and five players have maintained the answer streak of 6 come on students now you can also now also start to uh, to uh begin maintaining your streak because we are not only not even halfway through this is a this is a longer quiz right and you are going to enjoy game pin again i would like to tell you all those who have joined us just now game pin is always visible on the bottom right corner and it is 2458449 as you can see over here with this let's get to the next question now question number 
Apollo 11, the first crewed mission that land to land on moon was launched using which rocket? Apollo 1 was launched using which rocket? Was it Falcon Heavy? Was it STS-1? Was it V-2 rocket or was it Saturn V? Yes. Great. 54 of you gave the correct answer. Yes, the correct answer is Saturn V. And uh, basically, it is one of the largest, until now, the largest rocket ever built. Right? So, it is still in the history of rockets. And yes, this is one of the most important rockets in history. The other ones in this list, the V2 rocket was the first rocket to ever get launched in space. Whereas STS-1 was the basically the launching, what we say, the launching system of the first space shuttle. That was Columbia, right? So Columbia was launched using the STS-1 and Falcon Heavy. As you all know that it is the rocket of SpaceX. Yeah, so the, the Apollo mission was launched using Saturn V and 54 of you got it correct. Let's take a look how it impacted our scoreboard and changed the scoreboard a lot with Soptic Banerjee entering into the, on the second place, followed by Viraj, Shivansh, and Beryl Bejoy completing about five and three in a row. Dhyan NC Jan is back in the game. Great job, Dhyan. Keep it up. Let's see if you can get into top five also. So with this, Let's get to the next question, students. Question number nine. The command module was a part of a spacecraft that housed the crew. Which of these is not an Apollo command module name? Which of the following was not a name for a command module? Hmm. A bit of a tough question. Let's see who all know this. The options are Snoopy, Odessi, Eagle, or Corvus. Which of the following is not the command module name? of Apollo missions. Uh -huh. As expected, this was a tough question. Yes, Snoopy looks a bit out of the picture, right? Out of these four. But but no, I would like to tell you, this is a very interesting fact, that the even though the first actual crewed mission was Apollo 11, but in Apollo 10, NASA sent three astronauts near the moon, they stayed on the moon orbit and they landed a command module, a dummy command module to see whether they, they, they get successful in that. And once they got successful, two months after that, Apollo 11 was launched. So Snoopy was the name of the command module of Apollo 10. Odessi is the name of the command module of Apollo 13, whereas Eagle was the name of command module of Apollo 11. Corvus, on the other hand, was not any of these. So yeah. So with this, let's take a look at the scoreboard and it changed again. So Sanvi is not willing to let go. She's maintaining a perfect streak, I see. See here. Yeah? So then we have Sanvi, Viraj, Beryl, Pratham, and Soptik completing a top five, top five and tough round. 11 players lost their answer streak. No worry, guys. It is only the ninth question. You can still start, start maintaining your streak. With this, let's get to the 10th question now. The first successful mission to Mars was, what was the first successful mission to Mars? Was it Maven? Was it Mars 2? Was it Mariner 4? Or was it Mariner 1? Come on, come on, answer quickly. First successful mission to Mars. What was the name? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you might be thinking that, yes, it was Mariner, but it should be the first one. No. It was the fourth one. You know, when we first started going to the Mars, for the first four years, none of the mission was successful. At one point, the scientists at NASA and at Roscosmos, that is the another organization which was of Russia, which was trying to reach Mars, they started giving up hope that maybe we will not be able to reach Mars. But then they were able to get success in the form of Mariner 4. It was the flyby mission which basically went near the Mars, touched upon it, and then just went away. Yeah. So it took a, it gave us the first pictures of the Mars. And yes, the correct answer is Mariner 4. 28 of you got the answer correct. Great job. And with this, let's take a look at the scoreboard. And it has changed a lot now. So we have Sanvi, Dhyan, Shivansh, Viraj, and Beryl up to 24 places. Anya, 
Saraswat is the highest climber. Great job, Anya. All those students who want to join us still, this is the game pin always visible on the bottom right corner. It is 2458449. And with this, we are halfway through the quiz. I hope you guys are finding it tough, but also interesting. Yeah. So with this, let's get to the next question. Question number 11. NASA's next manned mission program to return to the moon is named Antares mission, Apollo return mission, Artemis program or Hercules program. The NASA's next manned mission program to return to the moon is called Antares, Apollo, Artemis or Hercules. Yes, good job. It is called Artemis. Now, here is the thing. It Yes, I can see that why half of you, we have equal number of students answering for Artemis and Apollo return. But yes, the correct answer is Artemis. So the thing is that in mythologies, Apollo, the god Apollo, after which the mission, the first Mars uh, mission to the moons were launched, she has a sister called Artemis. So now when NASA decided to return to the moon, this, they decided to name it Artemis. And you know, that is going to be a big mission in times to come because this will become reality in the next three years by 2024, when NASA will not only send people to moon, but they are basically making a moon colony. They are planning to meet a moon colony where the astronauts will actually stay on the moon for a longer duration. Yes, this is a very interesting and a very ambitious project. And let's hope it becomes a success. And you will start hearing it more about it in the recent, in the coming years. The, the same way the Apollo mission was a big news during 1960s and 1970s. So with this, let's get to the next question. Here, first take a look at the scoreboard. And the scoreboard, nobody is willing to change their position. And up to 18 places, Abhinav Saxena is the highest climber. Great job, Abhinav. Keep it up. Let's get to the next question now. Question number 12. Which of these missions was launched in 2011 to study Jupiter? Which of the following mission is first sent to study the Jupiter? Was it Cassini? Was it Juno? Was it Kepler? Or was it Galileo? What was the name of the mission which was sent in 2011 to study Jupiter? Yes, great job. It was called Juno. So I specified the year over here. You see, that's what makes this question tough. So yeah, so in 2011, the mission which was launched to study was Juno. Yes, so 53 of you gave the answer correctly. And good job. 41 of you who also gave it. Nice try. But yes, uh, you just missed out. So with this, let's get to the scoreboard and the scoreboard looks like this now and top five have maintained their position and Anika Ghai is making a comeback with three in a row. Great job, Anika. Let's see if you can break into top five also. So with this here, let's get to the next question, students. Question number 13, true or false? Mars is the only celestial body where humans have successfully sent rover. Is this statement true or is it false? Mars is the only celestial body where humans have successfully sent the rovers. What do you think of this statement? Is it true or is it false? Great job. 82 of you have said false and you guys are correct. You see, on Mars, yes, we have sent many rovers, but there is another place where we sent the rovers much before we started sending rovers to Mars. And that place is our own moon. Russia started sending rovers on the lunar surface and they sent the rovers with the name of Luna Code. So Luna Code 1 and Luna Code 2 were the two rovers that Russia sent on the moon's surface and it stayed there for more than a month. Right. So, yes, so that is the second place. And this is what makes this statement false. Yeah. So great job to 82 students who got it correct. And here we have the scoreboard. And now Shivansh Dubey has overtaken Dhyan. So nice 
Puranjay Joshi is back with the answer streak of three. Great job, Puranjay. Let's see if you can keep the streak up. So with this, let's get to question 14. Worth double points now. What was the name of the first manned spacecraft? Lee Worth. Hmm. That's a tough question. You all know who the first person to reach space was. But what was the name of the spacecraft in which he traveled? Was it Zond? Was it Soyuz? Was it Vostok or was it Voskhod? Yes, it was Vostok. Vostok was the name of the first spaceship, spacecraft on which Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space, he went. Yeah. Soyuz, yes, Soyuz is the most recent, basically the missions which the Russia have created or the Russia have developed. But Vostok was the one on which Yuri Gagarin went. Yeah. So with this, here, yeah, let's take a look at the scoreboard and see who all got it correct. And wow, Sanvi finally left the top stop spot, which is now claimed by Shivanj, followed by Viraj. Then we have Beryl, Sanvi, and Soptek completing the top five. And seven players just hit answer streak of four. That's amazing, Susan. So with this, let's. Take a look at the question number 15. First successful manned mission in space was launched by Soviet Russia. Hmm. I think that is a easy question. Let's see if I'm correct with my interpretation here. First successful manned mission in space was launched by Soviet Russia. What do you think of this statement? Yes, it is true. And as 90 of 98 of you also say. Yes, like in the previous questions only, question only, we learned that Vostok was the spacecraft on which Yuri Gagarin first reached the space. So that exactly is the first manned space mission. In space. And as you all know, it was sent by Soviet Russia. So 97, 98 of you got it. Right. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see if there is any change. Yes, there is. And now we have Shivansh, Beryl, Sanvi, Soptik, and Pratham completing the top five and six players just hit the answer streak of four. Great job students, try to maintain your streak. With this question number 16, worth double points once again. Launched in 1977, two identical space probes are now the farthest man-made objects. What are they called? Is it Pioneer and Giotto? Is it Cassini and Hubble? Is it Mariner 7 and Mariner 9? Or is it Voyager 1 and Voyager 2? Launched in 1977, two identical space probe are the farthest man-made objects. What are they called? Pioneer Giotto, Cassini Hubble, Mariner 7 and 9, or Voyager 1 and Voyager 2? Come on. Yes, the correct answer is Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. And guys, there is a very interesting fact that, you know, till now, these are the only two bodies which have uh, basically left the solar system, right? Voyager 1 being the first one and Voyager 2 quickly followed suit by exiting the solar system after that. Yeah. So, all right. So with this, 87 of you got it, correct. Right? Now, all those who say Cassini and Hubble, basically Hubble is still orbiting our Earth. So there is no way Hubble have left our solar system, right? So it, it automatically checks out that answer. So with this, let's take a look at the scoreboard and see, has it changed? No one have, is now willing to trade the position, but I can tell you that the competition is very close. Like there is almost a 100, 100 point gap between all these students, right? So Aman is making a comeback now. Great job, Aman. Keep it up. Now, the students who want to join us even now, game pin, as I told you earlier also, is visible on the bottom right corner. It is 2458449. So with this, let's get to the 17th question now. Which of the following is not the name of a rover sent to Mars? Is it curiosity? Is it perseverance? Is it insight? Or is it opportunity? Which of the following is not a name of a rover sent to Mars. So is it curiosity, perseverance, insight or opportunity? Yes, the correct answer is insight with 67 of you got it. 
So inside was basically a lander. So inside lander was 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 sent to basically was sent to Mars in 2018. Right, it is one of the latest landers to reach the Martian surface, and it basically studies the quakes, the Martian quakes. Right, so whereas Curiosity, Perseverance, and Opportunity are the name of the three rovers. Yeah, with with Opportunity being the first of the list, and Perseverance is the latest of the list to get launch or to go to Mars. So with this, let's take a look at the scoreboard. And yeah, scoreboard is completely changed now with Sivanch, Soptic, Pratham, Beryl, and Viraj completing the top five and up to 30, 13 places. Atre Call is the highest climber. Great job, Atre. So with this, students. I hope you are interested for excited for the next question. Yeah, I hope you guys are ready. Here comes the next question. Question number eighteen: The ISS and Mir are examples of space shuttle, rocket launchers, space stations, or communication satellite. ISS and Mir, they are the examples of space shuttle, rocket launcher, space station, or communication satellite. Yes, they are the space station. Space shuttle is actually the reusable rocket. They have a shape almost like an airplane. You can compare it with the airplane. And yes, they basically they go to space and they land back to Earth. That is what the space shuttle is, right? The shuttle service. Whereas space station is like a station. You have stationed it over there, and they are the big space labs which are present. Now ISS International Space Station, you can take a cue from that also. Whereas the Mir, many of you have not heard this name, might not have heard this name. You know that Mir was the first space station, and it was in orbit a decade before ISS even basically started going to space. Right? It was created by Russia, but for some reason, in the late 1980s, it got destroyed. Or it was abandoned. So with this, let's take a look at the scoreboard. And in the scoreboard, the top five have maintained their position, and five players just hit the answer streak of six. Great job, students. With this, let's get to the nineteenth question, the second last question of the quiz. Were double points. Which of the following is not a space telescope? Hmm. So which of these telescope which of the following is not a telescope which is currently in space all right so tell me which of these following is not a telescope which is currently in space is it chandra is it kepler is it grand telescope of canaries or is it hubble space telescope yes it is grand telescope of canaries you see all the other telescope all the other three hubble kepler and chandra these telescope these are actually the telescope which Are beyond the Earth in the Earth orbit, which that's why they are the space telescopes, as you can see in the picture over here. Whereas Grand Telescopio Canaries, it is also called Grand Tican or GTC. It is the largest telescope on Earth currently. It is in the Canaries Island, Spain, right? Whereas many of the students said Chandra X-ray Observatory. Let me tell you something about Chandra now, since many of you got it wrong. You see, Chandra X-ray Observatory is an X-ray telescope which observes the universe in X-rays, which and observes the higher energy from the coming from the universe. And this is the reason that this telescope is used to detect things like black holes, right? So this was named after Chandra, basically uh, Subramanian Chandra Shekhar. He was a Indian American scientist who actually got a Nobel Prize on X-ray study. So to honor him, the Chandra X-ray Observatory was made, and it was launched in the year 1999. But it is still giving us the data to this date, right? So that is something very interesting about it, right? So it has been in space for more than 20 years now. Yeah. So that answers it. 44 of you got it correct. Great job, students. So with this. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, and the scoreboard has completely changed now. With Pratham have claimed the top position at the very end. Great job! And now Sanvi is back in the in the podium with second position, followed by Viraj. Then we have Shivansh and Dhyan completing the top five. Great job, students! And four players just hit the answer streak of four. 
Yes, so that was a bit of a game changer. Yeah, so we have the new positions here. And with this, here we are to the last question of our quiz, which is which among these spacecraft was the first to study Mercury? Here I'm talking about another planet that is Mercury. Which of the following was sent to study Mercury? Was it Messenger, Voyager 1, Mariner 10, or Pioneer 6? The first spacecraft we have sent to study Mercury. Come on, come on. Aha. Again, very less students were able to get the correct answer. And this, I am hoping that how created a last minute basically and trusting a suspenseful finish let me tell you something about this all those who said messenger kudos to you you should be getting half the points so pat your back for that you know why because till now only two missions have been sent to mercury those two missions are marina 10 and messenger now the question says the first one Right, so the first one was Marina 10 and the messenger was sent after Marina 1, Marina 10. Yeah. Now, the thing is, the, only, the reason there is only two set, uh, spacecraft have sent so far is this. You know, Mars, sorry, Mercury travels very fast in its orbit and it travels so far that it completes its orbit in 88 days. And for this reason precisely, it takes more fuel to send a mission to Mercury then it takes to send a mission to even Pluto. Yeah. Sending a mission to Pluto is simpler, but sending a mission to Mercury is very hard. That is the reason only two spacecraft have sent till now. And the first one in that was Marina 10. Kudos to 31 of you who got this correct. And with this, let's take a look at the podium. So the podium for today's quiz looks like this. On third position, we have Viraj. Great job, Viraj. On second, we have Pratham. Great job, Pratham. And 17 out of 20, correct. The podium was completed by Sanvi. Great job, Sanvi. And then kudos to the runners up, Shivansh and Dhyan. So this was all about our today's quiz. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, there are many difficult questions, but I hope you got to learn something, some new trivia, some very interesting thing about space with this. So yeah, so that was the Kahoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, but now here is one, one more thing. You see, I asked all of you to wait for a minute once the quiz comes because I want to share something very interesting or very important to you, right? Two things. Number one, if you have just registered for the NEC, please make sure that you receive the login ID and password for your learning platform. Now, this year, we are going to do the NEC on our own learning platform, on our own LMS. To log in into it, you will need your own user ID and password. The user ID and password will be sent to you within 48 to 72 hours of your registration. And in that learning platform, you will find two things mainly. Number one, your content your learning content. For each grade, you will be enrolled to a course on which you will find the, the content from which the questions, most of the questions in your NEC exam is going to be asked. So make sure that you take a good read of that content. The second thing, the thing is that the exam also this year will be conducted on our learning platform itself. But to do that exam, you, we will need your facial recognition or basically we will need to verify your identity. So to do that, there is an onboarding exam over here. Right now you won't be able to access it, but that onboarding exam will be available in the next few days. When it is available, you will find a video which tells you how to complete your onboarding. Watch that video. Okay. So. In that, basically, you will need to do two things. First, you will need to give your, basically, your biometrics or your facial recognition so that we know that, yes, how you look like so that it will be important for you when you give your exam. 
Second thing, your ID scan. So you can bring any of your government IDs or basically any valid ID. It can be your passport, Aadhaar, any government ID or even your school ID card. But it should have your picture on it. Get these, get a ID, get a facial scan and complete the onboarding when it appears in the next few days. Whenever it will be appear, whenever it will appear, you would find it on your grade course, and we will even send you a message. We will even send you an intimation that yes, onboarding has started. This is the video which you should go through to understand it, and please complete it without before a specified date. Yeah. So make sure that students you are ready for that onboarding exam. So with this, all the very best for your NAC preparation, and we will meet again for another engagement in the month of November now. So until then, goodbye, take care, and yeah, I'm going to end it now. All right.